Welcome back to another episode of AJ Life and Garage. Today I am excited as because this is a moment I've been waiting for for such a long time. Uh, last week we put the performance exhaust in, today we're putting some performance suspension in. We've got some BC coilovers in here. Uh, they might not be the most expensive ones, but I'm happy with them. I think they are gold. I think they are their BR type coilovers for the Falcon sedan, as you can see. So, uh, Huge shout out to Auto One again. As always, they come help us out on the channel. So thank you guys for getting me a good discounts and all the other stuff. Make sure you go down to their store in Browns Plains, check them out. They have a lot of good deals uh, and they can get all sorts of suspension and parts. Uh, you also would have already seen in the last video, we installed the clutch. So I'm filming that video this time as well. So um, we'll get these out, have a good look at them. As you can see, fully adjustable. They haven't got a camber adjustment on the top. I'm not too fast on that because I'm not running stupid camber anyway. The Falcons do have camber plates on the top forks. You can take them out if you wish, but I'm probably not going to. It's got all the uh, dampening and all the other good stuff in it. Fully height adjustable spring rates. Uh, when I get them in the car and we are setting them up, I'll actually get Jaden to go through and explain how different stuff is. Um, as you can probably would know, if you have coilovers, this one here is to control your height, and this is to control your spring tension. Uh, some people get confused and think that this one controls the height. Uh, it, well, it sort of does, you gotta adjust them both, but anyway, I'm terrible at explaining this sort of shit. So we'll get Jaden to go through this, and he can explain all of this here. We've got the rears with the adjustable stuff as well. So, that is what me and Connor are doing today while we wait for Jaden to come back tomorrow morning, which you would have already seen, but today's a pretty exciting day for me. Okay, we've got the car jacked up finally. That took longer than it should have. Eventually we'll have a workshop, we'll have to deal with this. Okay, we've got them out of the box. All this, we've checked all of them just with a ruler to make sure they're roughly the same height. They all are. Um, I haven't touched any of the adjustments. This is how they came from BC. So we'll chuck them in and see how they sit uh, once it's all in the car and then adjust from there. Connor's come to join us too, which is fantastic. So um, we're gonna start with the front, obviously. So we're gonna have to remove all this, with this tank. On this side, uh, it's just in here, so it's easy to get to. So I'll go through what shit you need to take off. It's pretty basic stuff. It's just, you know, about, yeah, four bolts. Three on top, and then the one back under here. Uh, we might have issues and might have to drop some stuff out to get stuff like clearances out uh, But we'll see how we go. We might just be able to get it out with a bar or something uh, Then on the back, which is what these ones are some suspension has left and right um, Just depends. I know my patrol had a left and right spring these ones don't everything's identical You just have your front and your rears uh, Check with your cars when you what you've got it'll normally have on the spring itself, or on the shock, sorry. Uh, R for rear, and then if it's like a left or a right, it'll have RL or RR. Depends, that's just what I've found on my shit that I've ever gotten. Uh, and then on these back ones, gonna be pretty straightforward again. We'll drop our shock, two bolts, and then get a bar, pull it down. We might have to undo some stuff up here, not sure yet, but we'll take you on the journey. Um, I have done a few coilover installs on different cars, just never on a Falcon. Actually, no, I've done it on the AU, but yeah, nothing on a new a new series, so... Yes! So you're gonna need an 18 and a 21 for this bottom bolt. Give it a good yeet! Yeet! Watch your fingies when you're pulling it out, you don't want shit to drop on you. You've got a feeling we're gonna have to There we go. That took a bit longer than I expected. These bolts are cool because I got this this uh, cone on the end, so you can actually put them in and then bash them with a hammer through and it doesn't stuff the thread. Um, I do that <laughs> more than I'd like to admit. Uh, so, 
like we do with the other stuff leave one bolt in a nice easy spot just for a few threads on so it doesn't drop out so i'll quickly whack that off and then this should just drop down so, I'll set you. so as i was saying before there might be an issue with getting clearances to get this out so we're gonna see how much we can flex this to get it up enough so we can get past get the fork past this bottom control arm uh, so we'll sort that out and then we'll come back all right so uh, probably a better way to do it but this is the quickest way we found just undo this top mount here to this ball joint and we'll get our bar in here which I can't do even though I should get the head cam on we'll pop this up this whole section will swing back and we should be able to get that out easy Okay, so when you're taking out this top ball joint, you have to take the bolt fully out because the ball joint has a chamfer in it, which we will show once it comes out, that locks it physically to this bolt. So, you ready? <laughs> See, it just popped up a bit. Now it'll... Yeah. And there's that chamfer that we were just talking about. Chamfer cutout, I'd call that a cutout, I don't know. Cutout, so that bolt sits on that and that prevents it from moving out. So we can now swing this down a wee bit. Look at that, look at the strength on display. Okay, we got it out. Shit one. Nice one, tremendous. So um, now it's literally reversed to get it back in. Um, sort of a shame we're not putting it on the ground right now. But you guys will see that because this will get edited into tomorrow at the end of the day. So, nothing to worry about that. So, all in. Now we are gonna have to do adjustments on all this. Uh, on the other side, it's one, there's no preload on the spring. So, we'll adjust all that, but we'll wait for Jaden because he's sort of knows more because he's Captain Stance. And <laughs> that'd be a good t shirt, eh? Captain Stance. So, uh, we'll just put it in there and then we'll go through setting him up tomorrow with JDORG. So you guys probably can't notice, but we can. It's definitely lifted it up more because the shock's a lot shorter because all the adjustments been done. But like I said, Captain Stance will come through and make us look like fitment gods. So time to go to the back. Like I already explained, should be pretty simple. Boom, boom, pull down, pull that out. But it's never that easy when it comes to cars. So we're just gonna go as we go and um shouldn't be too hard all right so we're going to film doing it this side because the light's slightly better so we've got a big old bar here and we're going to go off this front mount off to this bit here and push down that way it frees up the, the weight of the spring a bit more a bit more, a bit more there we go whoops they can have with us make sure this goes back on there actually we might not need that because they come with their own seats so we'll take that out actually no doubt, someone will say, we've done the wrong thing. <laughs> so we're going to get rid of these rubber seats that they spring sit on because, like I said, say, I want to have these. Oh, gentle on the hardware, mate. And then these just sit back in like that, which doesn't seem right. But once we get this back up and the bolt in because the bolt needs to be left out so that you can actually get enough travel in it so once we get that bolt in it should hold the spring in place now what we're going to do to get the shocky back connected back wow <laughs> what we're going to do to get the shocky back bolt wow <laughs> what we're going to do to get the bolt back for the shocky is we're going to get a jack get the jack under this control arm here and press up until the bolt lines up. 
Uh, if you're a big strong dude, you could probably do it without the jack, but I'm not a big strong dude. Oh, okay, got the jack. Jack her on up. Make sure our spring goes where it needs to, which, which it didn't, so I need to. This is painful doing this one-handed. Oh my hat. Okay, so springs are seated in. Now I'm just gonna get this bottom one lined up. To get our suspension all teed in and looking mint. I bought the man himself that knows all about stance and making it look good. We're not stancing this car, but we do want the suspension to look pretty good. So we'll get a wheel off after since we've driven it for a bit. Um, and we shall um, explain all the other good stuff that needs to be done. <laughs> now with every decent size coilovers you buy, you should get a set of C-spanners. These are used to adjust all of your adjustments on your coilover. Everything except the dampening, which on the... Spring tension is there. the Yes. So we'll get this wheel off and we'll show you how these work and what you need to look for. All right, so we are adjusting the spring and that affects... <laughs> it affects the amount of droop you have. And we covered droop in the Supra Air Cup video. That's why, yeah, if we jack that up, that moves forth this ball. Suspension droop. So because it has 20 kilo springs in it with preload, or next to no preload, but because of, because they're a heavier spring than standard, it holds the weight of the car better. So we're taking the preload off the spring now. Yeah. So now, and now we've... you just want to go start at the point of you can still spin it but you can't move it up and down mm -hmm. and then go half inch past that because i'm pretty sure this so i'm going to put it at half an inch and then do the rest of the height adjustment with the base height we'll come back once that's done all right now we move on to the bottom adjustment which is our height adjustment so we wind that Thing. That thread will thread into the bottom cup here. Yeah. Overall shortening the length of the shock. And that's how we get our fully stick ride height. Depending on company MCA, I don't really understand why they like they don't like you to touch this bottom part. They want you to adjust height with spring. Oh okay. Which if you go low enough, like I said, you'd be able to go do 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 with the spring. Which I don't know. Yeah, we don't want that. MCA would prefer you to take them out of the car, send them back to them, they adjust, and then send back. That's how MCA like to do it. Oh, that's how they make more money. Yeah. Especially when you're paying like, what, four grand for a set of coilovers? Yeah, right, right. That's ridiculous. That's why I didn't go MCA in this. <laughs> of course, we couldn't be bothered on doing the bottom. Can you just get to the top? We've um, undone the top of the, the tower there. We've dropped it down so we can spin the whole assembly around to lower the car. I'm only doing 20 more. So just because you lower it 20 mil on your, your shock and your well, the assembly there doesn't necessarily mean the car will drop 20 mil. There's a ratio because if people see if I can turn this, probably lock. Oh, oh it's locked, locked, mate. Yeah. See where the mounting point of the shock is on this arm. So I don't know how you work it out, but you can sort of guesstimate. There's a ratio. If you drop this 20 mil because of the mounting point of this, the further out towards the hub, the more true the adjustment will be. This is about what, 100, 150 mil in from the hub. About that. So if you drop it 20 mil, it could drop the car 15 mil. Yeah. There's a certain, yeah, it's hard to explain. But. All right, so now we've done this side. It's basically a flipped, you're doing the same thing on the other side, no rocket science. We'll uh, show you how to do the back ones as well. Um, once we've got it fully done, I'll drop it down and see how it goes. This is the longest part about doing coilovers, is setting everything up. Installing it probably takes an hour if that. Setting them all up to be correct, especially when you have a professional like this bloke. 
Eh? <laughs> Normally won't take too long. Um, most shops you can just take to and I think they'll do it. These were already set uh, up and that was the height they were at. Yeah, so they'll be set up as close to stock height. Uh, but yeah, we just wanted to adjust everything to make it a bit more to what we like it at. Um, and then I'll take it for a, a drive. And uh, of course this is actually done after the clutch video. I need to still bed the clutch in. So hopefully we can uh, have a go at that too. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Still a bit of a wheel gap. We'll uh, sort that out eventually, but that's, uh, that's the front's done. So we might have to get some wheel space. There's awesome different rooms. Of course, we don't run real spaces because that's illegal. And nothing on this channel is illegal. We'll actually get the thong out and do a thong test. Still too high. So we'll have to sort that out. Okay, on to the back. All right, so we've they've got the hard adjustment and the stiffness. So what we've done was we've wound them all the way down so we can show you how much the car actually moves with them on soft. And then we'll wind them because it's got the adjustment on top. We'll wind it all the way to hard. Okay, that's max hard. And we'll just do this side to show you. It doesn't move that much at all. So if you want that mint fitment, you've got to have to have that nice <laughs> hard uh, dampening. But I'm going to run mine at about midway in, maybe a little bit stiff, but I don't want it to be undrivable because at the end of the day, this is my nice street car, not a track weapon. So. On the uh, the back ones, your adjustment for your stiffness is here at the top. Well, these are a revised version. They're a later model. PC. Yeah. So all the shit from now on should be like these, but the early ones didn't have the adjuster on top. Makes life easy, doesn't it? easy. <laughs> so um, yes. Pretty much all we got to do is get one of these, and we'll go and start setting it all up. So to do height. It Just is the spring patch. The spring patch over your. And then that's pretty much it. It's not a true coilover. It's shock and spring. So they have to have some high adjustment somewhere, and when people run out of height adjustment, they just take it out. <laughs> run the spring. Sweet. So there's no preload in the rear. Tremendous job. All right, well, that's pretty much straightforward. That's what your height adjustment is. Straightforward stuff. Awesome. I'll um, wait till we get it on the ground fully, and then I'll get a nice photo of it awesome. or something. Um, and now we sort of go need to get some proper fitting rims because it's looking pretty, pretty ugly. It almost looks as bad as it did when we did the wheel spaces, so. <laughs> but hey, at least it's didn't low now. It doesn't look like a cop car anymore, which is fantastic. All right, because we're dropping the height down a bit, we've cut our bump stops down. So, I mean, as soon as you lower it, it'll start hitting this anyway. So I've just taken the first knob out so we can get a bit lower. Um, it's still going to have the same structural shit, so it's not going to be too dodgy. <laughs> there you go, bud. Yeah, we're not taking out the bump stops like some people do, so yes, that's just a little trick so that your shit doesn't hit the bump stops. Okay, so of course we can't get it low enough, to my satisfaction. We're going to take out the height adjusters, because you don't actually need them, and you can gain an extra 15 mil from them. Alright, that's where we've got it now, sitting pretty level. Still got some good clearance under here for that exhaust. I mean, it is a bit low, but... As always, legal height, mate. Legal height, see that? So, happy days. Anyway, we'll take it for a quick drive to let the uh, springs settle in and all that. And to check the clutch, make sure it's all good. And um, yes, that might end off the video once we come back from that. Just got back from our little drive, test drive. Everything is all good. I just take, keep in mind that your suspension will settle after a while, so it will go a little bit lower. But I'm pretty happy with where it's sitting now at the moment, so. Read the tad lower. Yes. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, because next week or the week after, hopefully we'll have some more FGX related power content, because we've got to have everything ready for the 9th of October. So, uh, get keen. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, tell everyone you know about it. Um, 
and yes, see you next time. <laughs>